the South Today Bulletin, proudly brought to you in association with MOLMAP, the skin cancer detection specialists. on the South Today, an Otago museum brings back a really popular exhibit, taking a trip back in time with some vintage vehicles. The sound of car horns fills Selwyn streets as a food drive revs up to help stock up community food banks. And hundreds of Central Otago locals hunt for a bargain at a sustainable Christmas market in Wanaka. Kia ora, good evening, I'm Hannah Wilkins. The wheels are turning at a Dunedin museum as one of their most popular exhibits is set to reopen. Toitu Otago Settlers Museum is looking forward to welcoming the public back to the On The Move exhibition, which features vehicles from across the ages. Stepping into this room full of exhibits and taking a motoring step back in time. Toitu Otago Settlers Museum has completed the refurbishment of its popular exhibition On The Move, which showcases the history of transport across the region. The upgrade's taken around two years to complete and features some new modern elements alongside some old favourites. Well, we sort of want to make it as dynamic as we can, so we've introduced a lot of new um, film uh, footage, projections, uh, that sort of thing. But, yeah, hopefully um, people will, will notice the difference. Toitu curator Peter Reed is in charge of the exhibition, which has been situated in the same room since the museum was redeveloped a decade ago. He believes adding horse-drawn vehicles and bicycles to the mix broadens the scope of history and helps tell the wider story of transport in Otago. I guess there's a lot of nostalgia associated with transport, but um, the, the, the previous iteration of this gallery uh, in terms of the transport story was focused very much on motoring. Reid is looking forward to welcoming people through the fresh space from Thursday, giving them the opportunity to revisit their old favourites and check out some new wheels. In Dunedin, the South Today. Labour leader Chris Hipkins released his opposition line-up earlier today, dishing out a number of important roles among his Southern Party members. The National. Although Dunedin-born List MP David Parker faced a significant drop down the party's rankings, he's been given responsibility for the foreign affairs portfolio. But his previous environmental role is going to Dunedin MP Rachel Brooking, who served as Associate Environmental Minister for the final few months Labour was in government. And Tyody MP Ingrid Leary is being given smaller responsibilities within the party, adding the seniors and mental health roles to her portfolio. The Army, Fire Brigades and Police were among the services out in force in Rolleston on Wednesday, but it was all for a good cause. The annual Toot for Tucker drive saw volunteers collecting food donations from local residents in an effort to replenish the region's depleted food banks. The Rolleston Volunteer Fire Brigade making their presence known as they look to help out some struggling families. More than 100 volunteer drivers and runners roamed the streets of Rolleston on Wednesday evening, collecting donated goods from the generous residents in the area. We are going around the streets of Rolleston and making a lot of noise, uh, lots of tooting, and we're collecting food for our three local food banks. The annual Toot for Tucker initiative is a drive to collect non-perishable items to help fill Selwyn's three food banks. The annual event's organised by the Rolleston Rotary Club alongside the Rolleston and Selwyn Lions Clubs, who want to do their bit to help out the community. To be honest, it gets easier every year because this is a growing event and we actually get people approaching us, which is fantastic. So we just hope to keep that momentum going. The food drive has proved successful, with more than 135 boxes collected from residents, amounting to around $10,000 worth of food. People love it. They love being able to give back. Um, and it's a pretty, pretty simple, amazing thing to be doing out in the community. The donated food items were dropped off to Selwyn's Grateful Food Banks for a much needed restock of their shelves. In Selwyn, the South Today. Fire and emergency crews attended a Dunedin residence this week to rescue a large tabby cat that got stuck in the roof for almost a week. 
Neo the cat being reunited with his Dunedin family after going missing from his Sidey Street residence last Friday. When Neo failed to return home for four days, the owners rang the local SPCA to check if any cats matching his description had been brought in. The animal centre called back the following day, saying a Rye Hill resident reported hearing a cat near her roof space since the time Neo went missing. The family quickly rushed to the house in search of their pet. As soon as I said Neo's name, he started meowing louder than he had the whole time. So we were able to identify him in the roof cavity above. Fire and emergency services were called Hello. to the Rye Hill house to help rescue Neo, lifting a sheet of iron from the roof to make way for the cat to escape. The family are glad to have Neo safely back home with them, but reckon he might have used up a couple of his nine lives. In Dunedin, the South today. A Wanaka reuse shop is transforming its front yard into a Christmas wonderland and putting works by local artists up for sale. Community enterprise Waste Busters has been helping keep resources in circulation for more than 20 years as part of a vision for a zero waste future. Bargain hunters rummaging through racks of goodies and looking for early Christmas presents. Hundreds of people visited Wanaka Waste Busters on the weekend to check out the sustainable Christmas market celebrating the festive season with an eco-friendly theme. General Manager Gina Dempster says they're aiming to celebrate the community's makers and creators who make long-lasting presents with love. It's a great way to bring the community together before Christmas and have some fun and some music and some food. But it's also a really cool way to think about when you're buying things for people before Christmas buying something that's been made with love. For stall holders like Wendy Loudon, the market was about showing others what they create for a hobby and raising awareness of using recyclables in art. My overall principles of all what I make is uh, reuse. I've been doing it over 20 years and it's, it's a thought out process. Loudon was pleased to see so many people turning out for their second Christmas market, with many attracted by the food and live entertainment on offer. In Wanaka, the South Today. FI Yakane, still to come on the South Today. Dunedin plays host to an inter-club event for athletes from across the country. And a three-day classic motorcycle gathering revs into gear in South Canterbury. Double zip! My mate John's extended his Black Friday sale for one final weekend. He's taken a whopping 30% off everything. Plus pay it off over 30 months interest free. My mate John. A poorly maintained heat pump can lose up to 35% of its output. The Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner team are experts. Their specially developed chemical wash is totally biodegradable. Call Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner and get the job done by the professionals you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. Here at Age Concern Otago, we offer a range of services to support Otago seniors to age well with dignity and independence. We provide social work support, visiting service, health promotion and social activities. Check out what we have on offer at ageconcernotago.com. Such a sweet girl.
What are you dreaming about? This music. The Power of Dreams by Honda. Welcome back. A sunny day greeted athletes taking part in an inter-club event last weekend in Dunedin, which saw them putting their skills to the test against others from across the country. It was a day for young and old at the Caledonian ground on Friday and Saturday as a combined event between Athletics Southland and Athletics Otago saw 170 athletes compete in track and field events with ages ranging from 12 to 83. In the field events, athletes competed in a national postal throws competition with the results compiled by Athletics New Zealand against other clubs across the country. There were new records for older athletes including Nolene Burden with a jump of 1 metre in the women's 70 years high jump and Fiona Harvey also performed well with a 21.79 metre throw in the women's 60 years javelin. Southland athlete Georgia Tucker was first across the finish line of the Ness Cup Handicap Mile, however rules of the cup say it is awarded to the first athlete from Otago to cross the finish line, which this year was third placed Hill City University member William Bolter. In Dunedin, the South today. The action was hot and fast in Timaru over the weekend for the ninth annual Classic Action Motorcycle Sports Southern Classic. Riders and machines from across the country attended the three day gathering, coming together for their shared passion of old school bikes. Bikers travelled from far and wide all following their passion for the classic motorcycle racing. Riders of all ages and abilities took to the Levels Raceway near Timaru over the weekend to relive their past glories at the 9th annual CAMS Total Span Southern Classic. Aboard Triumphs, Hondas and Ducatis, along with many other old school brands, most were glad of the opportunity to hop on their bikes once more and get out and have some fun on the track. The atmosphere of the event is, is fantastic, uh, all the riders are, are very relaxed and uh, it's just a, a family fun atmosphere. Uh, we all camp in the pits and, uh, and, and have a, a couple of drinks afterwards and very much enjoy the social side of the event. The event allows everybody to have a go on the track, even if some were old pros at the racing game, like former road racer Jock Woodley enjoying some friendly racing at the Southern Classic. And what I like about our particular situation is the beautiful older bikes and the fact that the people are allowed to come in and mix with you, ask questions, have a look at the bikes and all of that stuff. One of the guest champion riders of the Classic was former two and four wheels national champion Johnny Hepburn, who believes the three day event is all about having fun. Let's go and catch up with a whole lot of good old friends that we met a long, long time ago and are still friends with to this day and talk about how good we were or weren't and have a good skid around and ride one of our old, old bikes. For many, the annual trip to Levels reignites their passion for classic motorcycle racing, helping to keep alive the love for the old racing machines. In Timaru, the South Today. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South Today. Tuatu Otago Settlers Museum has reopened its On the Move exhibition with a road trip through the ages. Canterbury's Toot for Tucker food drive was a loud and proud success, donating more than 130 food boxes. And Wanaka Wastebusters Sustainable Christmas Market proved a hit with locals as they searched for recycled presents just in time for the festive season. And now we'll look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT and we're welcoming back Associate Editor Mike Houlihan. Hello Mike. Hello. We're here at Spook Friday paper. What can we expect to read? Well there'll be a big story for people living south of Eden. I recommend they want, want to pick up a paper and have a look at that one. It's under a bar ghost. I'll have to wait till tomorrow's paper but it's well worth a look. Sure. Okay. Uh, we've also got uh, highlight coverage of uh, a big event that's being held tonight. Uh, you may recall we had the Farmer of the Year competition a few months ago. Mm -hmm. The winners receiving their prize this evening. Great. Uh, we've got uh, an interview with the people who part for them and farm their Lake Onslow talking about the 
the potential scrapping of the hydro scheme that, uh, in that neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got uh, Labour's new lineup being unveiled uh, for what their opposition spoke people are, including new roles for the two Dunedin MPs. Yes. And our inside out section has a uh, 70 stunner from Meyer. <laughs> Lovely. All right, we look forward to reading. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Time now for a look at the weather. The South Today weather, proudly brought to you by MoreMap, the skin cancer detection specialists. Looking at the situation, airflow will remain light over the region tomorrow and through the weekend with mostly fine weather. Heading to the top of the South Island, fine with light winds and high cloud up through here tomorrow with 21 degrees in Nelson, 19 in Greymouth and cloudy with nor'easterlies and 17 in Christchurch. Travelling to South Canterbury and North Otago, well there's cloud about tomorrow with east to northeast winds with 18 degrees in Ashburton, 17 in Timaru and 16 for Awamaru. Heading westwards to the Central Lakes and a good Friday ahead through here with high clouds, light winds and 19 degree highs in Queenstown, Wanaka and Alexandra. Heading further south, well shaping up to be a good day over here too with 19 degree highs and uh, high clouds in both Gore and Malclutha and breezy with nor'easterlies and some cloud with 16 in the Catlins. Across to Invercargill, fine and cold tonight as it drops to 4 degrees. The next two days are sunny with light winds, a warm 18 expected tomorrow, followed by a gorgeous 22 degrees on Saturday. And finally heading to Dunedin, cloudy tonight with south westerlies and down to 7. Then it's two days of changing winds, some scattered cloud and lots of sunshine, with 16 on Friday and then 19 degrees to kickstart the weekend. And that's the news this Thursday. For the latest news and videos from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz. You can follow Channel 39 on YouTube to catch our news bulletins on demand or follow us on Facebook. Search for The South Today NZ to see our favourite stories from around the regions. We'll see you again tomorrow. Ka kite popo. Public interest journalism funded through New Zealand On Air. The South Today Bulletin proudly brought to you in association with MOLMAP, the skin cancer detection specialists.